All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaq with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I should say Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the personal work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, the title of this video is Every Day That Passes By Is Another Day Closer to Yahweh Shah. Okay, the day of the Lord returning. Okay, and um, I'm going to just get into some scriptures. Okay, let the scriptures speak. Okay, Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Okay, there is not supposed to be any day, okay, that goes by that, you know, it shouldn't ring in your mind or, or, or be a thought in your mind that uh, everything in this world, okay, is going to be gone. Okay, this whole frame of mind, okay, and living in this, this country, okay, or this world as it is, is going to be gone. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, okay, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, okay, because uh, nuclear fire is coming, okay, and then you also have the, the fire from the so-called UFOs, which are the... Uh, the vehicles that the Lord created, okay, to be a part of the destruction, okay, of America and to be um, a part of the salvation for the children of uh, Israel, okay, the elect, okay. Um, it says, nevertheless, we according to uh, to his his promise. Look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you that you may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Okay, let's see what the word peace is. Okay. A state of na national tranquility, knowing that this is the truth. And acting as such, it says, exemption from the rage and havoc of war. Okay? A part, of, a part of your mindset should be, if the Lord returns, I know I'm going to be saved. I know that I'm going to uh, make it. Okay? Because I'm doing what the Lord told me to do. Okay? Even though in our minds we don't know, but we still supposed to have that faith. Okay? It says peace between individuals, i.e. harmony and car concord, okay? Because before we came into this truth, we was at war with the Most High, okay? God, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, says security, okay? We're secure in this, this truth, okay? It says safety, prosperity, felicity, because peace and harmony make and keep things safe and prosperous. And that's one thing that these Christian churches, they think that, you know, they're already saved right now and that, you know, they could just prosper in this world. No, that's not the case. Okay? For us, we know that, you know, this truth, is as long as we doing these videos, going out on the highway and had just, okay, and teaching this word, okay, and pushing this word and living this word, then we're, we're, we're and, and, which ultimately it goes into to, to being in the right spirit, okay, and being in the truth. Okay, we know that we are secure. Okay, it says, of the Messiah's peace, okay, the way that leads to peace, salvation. Okay. So we're supposed to be found of him in uh, in peace without spot and blameless. So shouldn't nobody be able to, you know, look at us and, 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 and say, oh, you're not doing enough videos or... You know, you're not doing what the, a man of the Lord would do, okay? Philippians 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven, okay? And this is how you know who the men of the Lord are because they're focused on what's to come, okay? Rather than this bullshit in this society, okay? It says, from whence also we look for the Savior 
the Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay, so when we wake up and the next day, we supposed we supposed to be looking like, yo, today could be the day that the Lord returns. Okay, any day now, it could be next week, it could be a week from, uh, a month from now. Okay, but we know that as time goes on, that the Lord is going to return, man. Okay, it says, "Who shall change our vile body that it may be fastened like unto His glorious body?" According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Um, Hebrews 6 and 17. Wherein Yahweh Shem Yahweh willing more abundantly to sow unto the heirs of promise the immut Im immutability of his counsel. Confirmed it by an oath, okay? Now, immutability, okay, is not transposed, not to be transferred, it's fixed, and it's unalterable, okay? You have a lot of people that are trying to up alter what the scriptures say, okay? So the, the ones who are the heirs of the Lord's promise, okay? They they're gonna understand the immutab immutability of his his counsel, okay? Which I'm gonna get this word immutability, okay? The the, the, the definition, okay? I just read it in the, the uh blue letter, okay? Not capable or I mean not capable of or susceptible to change, right? So the Lord counsel, okay, which is his word. Okay. Counsel or purpose, what what the Lord purpose is, okay. It never changes. Okay. This is Malachi three, I want to say, and six. For I am the Lord, I change not. Okay, so the Lord is immutable. Okay, he's not capable of or susceptible to change okay it says therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed okay so the Lord changed the Lord said that okay it says and he confirmed it by an oath okay and what is an oath a solemn promise okay a serious promise often invoking a divine witness regarding one's future action or behavior okay the one, the, the, the one who the world ignorantly calls God, okay, which his name is Yahweh, okay, he swore unto us, okay, that he would deliver us, okay. It says that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God, Yahweh by Shemiah Osai, to lie, so... The Lord made a made a serious promise that He's going to deliver His His people, okay. And he and, and He's not going to lie. And that witness, okay, is Yahweh Shah, okay. Because when Yahweh Shah came, He He came to do the will of the the the, the Father, okay. It says, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Okay? And our hope is that we get in on the first trot. Okay? We know that ultimately, okay, that if we don't get on, in on the first try, that we are going to enjoy the kingdom of heaven because we're the, we're the children of Israel. Okay? The ones who, who the Lord promised. But we want to be found without spot and blameless and make it to the kingdom. Okay? And that's why we we, we, we rest in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Sa. Okay? And we we every day we wake up. It's supposed to be, like I said, the Lord could come today, man. He could crack them clouds today. No man knows the hour, okay, except the Father. Okay? 
It says, which hope we have is an anchor of the soul, being grounded in this truth, both sore and steadfast, and which enters into that within the veil. Okay? First John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. And it's, it's uncomparable to anything, man. Okay, because the Lord could have just left us as, as niggas in the world. But here we are, we have this hope that, you know, we could be saved. It says that we should be called the sons of God. Because he's dealing with us like, like, like his children. Okay, therefore the world knows us not because it knew him not. But we know him. Okay, it says, be, Beloved, now, we, now are we the sons of God. Okay? Yeah, it says, Now we are, Now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is and we're going to see him as the 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 the, the um savior okay of our people okay and the destroyer of the gentiles okay and every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure so if you know that the lord could come back any day you know that you're gonna you got to be on your best your best uh job man Okay, you got to be putting your best, best step forth, man. Okay? John 14 and 2. Uh, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Okay? Because cause guess what? <laughs> the Lord, <laughs> Yahweh, he made that oath. He made that promise. Okay? He gave his word. Okay? And, and... The Lord, the Lord, okay, Yahweh Shah, okay, he gave his word also. Okay, so if Yahweh Shah, okay, which he when he did come on the scene, he had those people that actually followed and believed in him. And here we are again, okay, Lord willing, we are those people that are following and believing in him uh, still. Okay? So it says you believed in, in the Lord, okay, Yahweh, who, who made an oath that he was going to deliver us. It says, believe in him also. In my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So when the Lord comes back, that place that he has prepared for us is going to be already ready for us, man. Okay? He and, and, and the Lord knows what everybody, every brother likes, man. Okay? I had a I had a a, a, a vision that I had a, a a chariot that was white and gold, man. And guess what? In the kingdom, I'm going to have Edomites cleaning off my stuff daily, man. Okay? It says, if it were not so, I would have told you, I'd go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be be also and this is a promise man okay this is hey it said a, a pledge a vow okay a solemn promise being serious about this man okay it says a set of promises committed committing one to a prescribed role calling or course of action typically to marriage or a monast monastic career Okay, and we're married, okay, onto the Lord, man. Okay, dedicate someone to some or something, okay, especially a deity. Okay, solemnly promise to do a specific thing. Okay. It says pledge, a solemn promise or, or undertaking. Okay. And, and, and it says also a solemn undertaking to abstain from alcohol. Okay, and what the Lord said, man. Okay. Mark 14 to 25. 
Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until the day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And he's, Lord, he's going to drink that with us, man. Okay? He's going to drink that with his servants, man. Okay? The ones that, 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 that put their life on the line, man, that made sacrifices for this word, man. Okay? He, he made that vow to do this, man. And this is something that you actually have to believe in, man. This is a promise, man. A guarantee, man. Okay? Luke 12 and 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he comes, so find so doing. Of a truth, I say unto you. And it says, of a truth, man. Okay? Truly, truly, in reality. Okay? Most certainly. Okay? Of a truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. Okay? And we're going to rule this world, man. Lord willing, we are, are, are those, men, those men. Okay? So this truth is a is a blessing, man, to be in. Every day that 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 passes by is another day, okay, to getting up out of this this hell and being closer to your by some y'all side, man, okay. And that should be our our goal every day, okay. If it's not your goal, if you lose sight of that, you need to pray and stay focused, man, okay. But with that, I want to say salam.